Hey, Sagittarius, how goes it? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. This will be your reading for October 1st, the 16th. So let's just dig in. I'm going to start with your Oracle cards. So it says body changes. This card guides you to focus on changes in your body so that you can influence it in a healthy direction. It's time to take charge of your own health and remain optimistic. After all, the butterfly shows us the power of going through physical changes as they enter the crystallize phase. You are ongoing a similar preparation stage, which will bring you to blessings of new strength and insights. Whether your body changes or a result of the aging process, your medical status, or your lifestyle, this card reminds you that you may have many options available. Give yourself permission to take positive and health, healthful actions, steps. What? Give yourself permission to take positive and healthful action steps, supportive of your physical well-being. So, hmm. so there's additional meetings, a new exercise program, changing your health care regimen, improving your diet, and getting a makeover. So, Sagittarius. I don't know how that resonates with you, but if that's for you, then that message is meant for you. With that, it looks like you guys have to do some planning. We're going to start off with this reading with a two of fire. And that's when the two of fire, two of fire comes up in a reading. That's what it's talking about. You guys need to plan something. I feel like if you're in the process of figuring out where you are in your life, figuring out like a job or career, if you should change, if you should stay a relationship, should you go, should you stay? I feel like now is the perfect time to sit down and plan through all of that. Think through it. I feel like you are in the driver's seat of your life right now. I said, Sherry, so you need to create the life you want. Um, you need to create the life that you are going to be proud of, that you are going to enjoy so if there's something you're not enjoying now, if there's something that you wish you had more of, I feel like now is the time to just do it. See, we have the page of fire as well. So the page of fire talks about dreaming big. It talks about just going out there with an explosion. So I feel like this is you setting your life on fire and, and not like actually setting yourself on fire, but like going out with a bang, like doing all everything that you guys want to do. Um, And I feel like it's like you guys standing on your own two feet and finding your purpose. You know, you've been waiting a long time to find your purpose. And I feel like for some of you, it's, you know, yay, I'm here. I know what I'm supposed to do. It's going to be like a light bulb going off. And you'll be like, that's what I'm supposed to do. And it's, you're going to just feel within it, um, within yourselves. With this reading, um, there's a lot of earth signs. So Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are coming up in this reading. So I don't know if that's... Um, someone that you're dealing with, but there's a lot of earth energy coming up for me. I just had to put that out there. The five of earth, a lot of abundances are coming your way, Sagittarius. I feel like this is you guys needing to look at something from a different perspective. There's a perspective change that needs to happen. I feel like you need to count your blessings too. Um, be, be content where you are. Um, and if you're not content, that's where that page of fire and the two of fire is going to come in, right? If if you want more, then you need to work on getting that. It's not going to just fall into your lap, Sagittarius. But for everything that you have now, you have to count your blessings for. You have to be like, you know, I have this and this and this. And there's other people out there that don't have that. So it's recognizing the stuff that you do have, Um and going from there, because I feel like we often, everyone loses that. We often take a lot of things for granted. We often take the smallest things for granted. If it be heat or light or water, you know, a lot of people don't even have fresh water and we have fresh water, right? So it's about realizing that life isn't as bad as we make it out to be. Um, it's about being happy, you know, being happy in every stage of your life, being happy at every level of your life. You know, not every day and not every month is going to be rainbows and butterflies. But if you can pick yourself up and learn from that lesson and learn from that test, then you're going to be better off down the road. Our six of Earth is talking about what you put out into the universe is what you're going to bring back. 
So I've actually said this a couple of times. If you approach a situation with a negative mindset, you're going to get that negative mindset back. But if you approach a situation with a positive mindset, that's going to come back to you. Same with, you know, your vibes. If you put out a positive vibe, you're going to get positive people back into your life. But if you're always negative and you're taking or like sending out those negative vibes, that's good. Ah. Sending out those negative vibes, guys, you're going to get those negative vibes back. So it's about being content with who you are and being confident with who, who you are to, you know, to share your downfalls. I'm not saying don't share your downfalls. Share your downfalls, of course. But don't live for the negativity. Don't live for the those negative moments. Try to think, you know, think the brighter side of things. I feel like this is also, you know, you not doubting yourself with the six of earth coming up, you being happy and content. That's what I keep hearing. Um, you just staying on track, you know, you don't know what's obstacles or challenges are up ahead of you, but you know that, you know, you've made it through so much already and you're still standing. So it's like, what doesn't kill me only makes me stronger, right? Seven of Earth, a lot of you at a crossroad right now. Again, that's what I feel. A lot of you are in the middle of a relationship or a marriage or separation, divorce, um, trying to pick a different career, deciding if a different career is in the mix. Um, so we have the Seven of Earth. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made as well. That's what's coming up. But I feel like during those decisions during those transitions during this new stuff you guys are gonna figure it out like don't be afraid to start over because i feel like when you start over that's gonna be the game changer for you i feel like there's you know a lot of us live off the material material abundances you know and by that i mean like the tv the the clothes that we wear, the electronics, you know, we're so consumed about the material stuff that we forget about all of the other stuff. And that's kind of what I'm seeing as well. We have a ton of earth coming up. So I feel like, again, the message that I'm hearing is that you need to be thankful for each and every, you know, time you've gone through heartache, each and every time you've been upset, each and every time you've experienced happiness or a failure or you know winning something i feel like every every journey or not every journey but every life lesson or test that you've gone through has led you to this very moment and i feel like kind of sagittarius the worst is over however that resonates with you but that's what i feel like i feel like things are going to start coming out of like i feel like you guys have been in the clouds and now those clouds are clearing and you guys are going to start seeing the sun. You're going to start seeing the rainbows. But you're in a time where you have to really stay grounded right now. You have to really not only trust in other people, but have that trust in yourself because that's where the queen of earth is. You have to stay real to who you are and, you know, true to who you are because you don't want someone to like you or fall in love with you for someone that you're not. You want someone to like you and love you for who you are. So that is very, very important, Sagittarius. I feel like if you want change, you have to change yourself and you have to look at it from a deeper um, perspective. You know, look at your surroundings. We have the seven of air. She is surrounded by a whole bunch of things. There could be something in your surroundings that keeping you stuck. Could be something in your surroundings that keeping you from moving forward. I feel like you have to ask yourself, you know, am I happy? Am I genuine happy? How can I change this? How can I make myself happy? I feel like in this very moment, you guys have to live your life on your own terms. You have to say, you know what? I am in the driver's seat of my own life. I have to pick and choose who's going to ride this wave with me and who's going to jump off. A lot of you are thinking about old memories, you know, going down memory lane, thinking about things you could have changed, thinking about things you could have made better. But you have to realize that you had to learn from those to get to where you are. You had to make those mistakes to become even stronger. So this is about taking that much needed time right now to heal, heal those old wounds, heal whatever is keeping you from 
you know, moving into this new direction or moving into this new journey and becoming all that you guys are meant to be. I feel like there is a romantic attraction around. If it's not here, it's coming with two people. But I feel like if you want to attract the love that you know you deserve, then you have to love yourself first, guys. That's where it starts. You got to love who you are. Um, Learn to enjoy time alone. And then, you know, eventually it's going to come through and you're going to be able to share that time with other people. But, you know, again, I just feel like you don't need to be afraid anymore. You don't need to um, be jealous of anyone because you are you for a reason. A lot of you need a perspective shift or perspective change. We have the world. Oh, my nose is too um, this is also about completion. I feel like things are completing. I feel like things are wrapping up. Things are changing. But you have to have that power to say, you know what? I'm going to change for me. I'm going to change because I want something better. I want something bigger. And, and that's honestly what I see, guys, is you doing whatever you want to do because that's what your heart tells you to do. At the end of the day, that's what you guys need to do is whatever your heart is telling you to do. So your oracle, ugh, oracle card to end this reading says, Vast Vistas, expand your horizons. Expand your horizons, see the world around you in new ways. This is not a time to think small. It's an exciting time for you. You may find travel or new adventures in your future. Think outside the box. Ideas and projects that you've been contemplating are now moving towards manifestation unconventional relationships may flourish take time to nurture your dreams for big changes are ahead a scared traveler wants you to know as a traveler steps out of the woods the pathway winds up to a high point with a vast vista the traveler can see in all directions and know that all things are possible new and wondrous paths are ahead the traveler can choose any direction to journey Get ready for a joyous, expansive sojourn. Take deep and full breaths. Each breath affirms that you're an expansive, expansive phrase of life. Hmm. See? Yeah, that's what I was seeing. I was seeing you guys taking some new adventure. I was seeing you guys taking some journey. Um, planning how if it if it hasn't, but there's definitely some planning that needs to be done. There's definitely some walking away. There's definitely some healing Sagittarius. Definitely some soul searching, soul meditation. Seeing things um, at a different view. Yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. If you would like personal, all my information is up above. If you would like to donate to my channel, all of my information is up above, up above as well. No, I'm sending you guys all love and light, and I will see you halfway through October. Take care, Sagittarius.